it seems like we'll be soon live. So let me just check on my phone. I have no idea whether my webcam is too dark or not. So I'll definitely have to check that out. Let's see, that's not for me. Okay, then let's open my channel on my phone. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Yes, okay. Seems like I'm live. Then let's turn on the sound. Um, no, I don't have anything here. Yes, okay. I should be live now. Yes, okay, that's all right. Let me go look onto my Discord. Let's join this call. There we go. Let me quickly look at Streamlabs whether. Yes, okay, the sound is being picked up from the game. Dun dun dun. We're gonna just wait one more. Okay. Okay. Um, I Okay, I got a notification on my Discord server that I'm live. I still need to fix the, notifi the notification for my notification squad, but um, yeah, welcome to the stream if anyone has joined. Dun, dun, dun. Let me close all these tabs on my phone. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Today we're going to be playing some simple yet fun Temtem, which is actually a game I really look forward to playing since uh, when I saw it come online. Since I'm a big fan of Pokemon, but you know, Pokemon hasn't been doing the greatest ever since Sword and Shield and really the 3D games came out, but that's my personal opinion. Uh, and Temtem seems to have a really fun battle system. I have already played like around about an hour in this game and actually have a little team, but um, for the rest, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. I want to quickly look at the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon, the Temtem, the Tems I already had. So, um, Kaku, Sharp Leaf, Toxic, he seems more like a support character, yes. Best coupled to a, oh, I'm gonna turn down the sound a little. Coupled to a Toxic Tem. That's way too loud to sound. Whoa. Then, um, and prevents poison. Okay, so it's kind of like a po give poison to the horse while not getting poisoned. Then, what else do we have? We have Smazi, the starter. Which has basically like a sword dance kind of deal. Martial strike, many dun dun dun. Tail strike, okay, so a neutral and a melee attack, I think. And then some ground, earth. And I've got quick kick in the back. So that's more like a. Okay, so that's more like a straight attacking them. Then we have two eye. I'm just. Repeating all the tem I have because I completely forgot where I was in this game to be honest So this has a lot of pri priority probably meaning it's like the quick attack of this game we have uh, Wind blade lashing gales like a frozen mm -hmm. Okay, so that's like a basic air attack also notice the stamina here for anybody who's new to temtem um, besides like the regular stats temtem also has um, as you can see here, stamina, right under HP, which is basically instead of power points, PP in Pokemon, you have stamina, which recharges um, and you, which you need for moves. Just quickly see, Genki is more of a wind electric type, I guess. Dam damage taken from nature techniques is increased by, okay, so that's actually weakness. So traits can be negative, apparently, in Temtem. And then we have Pika Pig. When knocked out, attack looks okay. So that's pretty useful. When I get knocked out, the opponent will lose thirty percent of its max HP. Uh, nimble, special defense, or is that speed? I think that's speed. Yes. Okay. So we can get a speed boost. We have a small normal attack, two small normal attacks, each with their own cost in stamina. Nibble is slightly better overall, but. Scratch has its use and bamboozle. Oh, okay, so that's kind of like a protect with advanced. Let me quickly look at my quests, what I was doing. Further your training at Sophia's Dio in Arisola. Okay, I think Arisola, if I click on the map, or how do I open the map? 
Make uh, pom pom pom. Okay, so I came from Zadar and I played through the tutorial all the way to here, the first town, the first big town. And so now we need to go to Arizona, but we'll probably have to find that. It doesn't show yet where Arizona is. Oh well. Oh, okay. So let's just head into the grass and start our first battle. That way you guys also get introduced to the battle, battle system, I think, I guess. Okay, that's true. So, we send out our Keiku and our Smazzy. Let's, let's intoxicate it. This game looks so good. Honestly, it could even look better. Um, but my computer can't run the best graphic settings at the same time as running um, streaming. It's just a gorgeous little game. Maybe sometimes it could be better, but like maybe a dynamic camera. But for the rest, I really can't complain about this game. I love it. It's like the ideal streamer game for me too, because I love a little bit of strategy. And, you know, I can talk over it. It's not that hard to understand either, because if you know Pokemon, You'll understand the ba uh, battle system. The only thing new really is stamina and the way and the way it's more balanced. And besides that, yeah, it's really not that hard. It's what I'm trying to say. There we go. I really wish. Um, no, while the encounters in this game are also a little but more annoying than in Pokemon, since it's so balanced, you will barely ever get to knock out. A wild Temtem in one hit. So each battle takes like two turns at least. Well, I mean, it has its upsides, it has its downsides. That way, for example, competitive battling isn't always decided in one turn, which, you know, gives more interaction, gives more strategy in the game. Look at me giving a, an, 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 an analysis of the competitive side of Temtem, even though I have never played that side. Okay. And what you'll often see, I will always send out two Tems, but in the wild grass there can be one Tem... Oh, I misclicked. There can be one Tem and there can be two Tems. Uh, tra trainers will always at least have two Tem. That's the basic, that's the, um, basic setup for this game. Um, it's actually quite cool how it all works. Um, I'm quite certain if I like use a melee on a f oh yeah it had a, it had a evasion I should have paid attention. <sighs> oh yes, yeah, so that's the fainted curse. The the opponent's piggy pack now had it for anybody who was here in the stream earlier to see me read off my own piggy picks. Stats, there you go. I see Kaku is almost knocked out, so I'll quickly swap him over with 2Y. It's very easy. Also, following them, that's one of the greatest fe features actually of this game. Them, them, follow, sir. Alright then, there are still some bugs. It's not yet fully released the game, that's why. Um, let me quickly look at the map to see where I'm going. So, right, I think I got it. Ooh, all, th all these other players' stems look so good. And then I'm here with my 2i, my little burp. So, let's continue on the road. <sighs> dun, dun, dun. Actually, oh, there is another Genki. I already own one of those. They are quite cool. Um... No, he does. He is super strong against um, wind type moves, not air or flying wind. Wouldn't want to be called a Pokemon clone. To be honest, really, this game isn't a Pokemon clone. It just takes inspiration from um, well, the monster taming, monster taming and collecting genre. That's the best way to describe it, because you know. Alright, I'm not gonna delve too deep into this d discussion, but for real. This isn't a Pokemon clone. Pokemon was created in a genre which already had a few games, where you would collect monsters and fight with them, 
just Pokemon became the main attraction for that genre and that's why everyone thinks or a lot of people say this is a Pokemon clone but it really isn't end of the rant okay I should probably be careful against Genki because they mm, yeah okay there goes to I you can't yet do like official Nuzlocks in this game but I bet when Nuzlocks will be available in this game they will be absolutely brutal um, Nimble, oh wait, Scratch on you and then Tails, can I actually use, yeah okay we'll use that move, oh my I shouldn't have brought enough a wind type into, yeah okay there goes pick a pick that's not too smart, luckily Okay, let's use Genki against Genki then. There we go, Genki and Smuzzy. Pum pum pum, let's see. Electric against Electric is equally as effective. That's not like Pokemon. I'm gonna keep on making probably a lot of references to Pokemon, just because that's what I'm used to. Uh, so don't mind me. But yeah, I'm just gonna be playing this game for a while. Just having some fun. Maybe some people will show up. Maybe they won't. I know this isn't really a big streamer game. Actually, I want. Oh, we're gonna trainer battle. Um, ah, here comes the Temtem trainer. I haven't seen you at the dojo, and I don't remember you from my time at Academia, so you must be new. Um, I do study there. Pum pum pum. For instance, what do you know about Synergy? Uh, I've heard of it. So basically, Synergy is where two Temps of different types, their moves um, are dependent of the other Temtem having a certain type. Listen up then. You, when you're fighting alongside a friend, it matters which Temtem you're using. It matters a lot if you have the right combination of Temtem. I see. Say you are using a fire Temtem and your friend is also using a suitable type of fire Temtem, then you might both increase your fire damage. Yes. So basically, like, it's a little tutorial where he tells us how it all works. I'm gonna look at how many people are streaming in the Temtem category. Alright, 936 people. Okay, not too bad. Oh, and I got two notifications. Yeah, no, I don't have Prime, sadly. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I remember this battle. This is where I had to stop with the tutorial because it got too hard. So let's just show off. And um, I think th this is a toxic type, the Calabis. And I don't know about Ek Ukama, so... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, okay, those two are strong, like really strong. Okay, I think I have only one Tem left, so... Wait, no, I have Gank... Yeah, I've got, I've got Gam Ganky. Um, synergies, yes, I know. Spark, no. Mm. If I want to have a chance, I'll probably have to first use a setup move. Wait, what? Why do I need to select one? Nothing sparks you up like little spark ups plus special attack. Yeah, but why do I need to select one? Okay, that's weird. So water cannon, yes. Okay, I got one shot. That's all right. I think we will have to do some training right before we do this. Re really take on this battle because we can't yet deal with those guys. Okay, so let's go heal. Oh no, my temtem are automatically healed once I get here from a defeat. So yeah, we'll do some grinding and then we'll go back to that trainer. Dun, dun, dun. Seems good to me. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. I have never streamed this game before and I see not many people might be interested into checking in on a new streamer. But oh well. I'm just gonna have to play this game. I've always wanted to play this. There we go. What will we get? How crazy would it be if we found a Luma today? Although I think they upped the chances of finding a Luma in this game to 1 in a thousand. Which like, Lumas are like the shinies of this game. Um, except they are way rarer than shinies in like Pokemon. Ah, it looks so gorgeous, but you'll never be able to get one. I remember when the game was in like early, early access. Oh, wait, I got a new move. Oh, I just got rid of it on accident. 
Luckily, um, also a nice feature of this game is where if you go to squad you, and click on 2i, you can actually just swap in those moves without a problem. So let's see. A terrifying gust of wind, capable of throwing a small airship, of course. 90 damage, 12 stamina. Windblade. Okay, this is like twice as good. I'm definitely getting wind burst over wind blades. Like I know it takes more stamina and there might be a risk, but the reward of like double damage for only three more stamina is way worth it to me. So let's do some more grinding here, so we can level up our temp just that little higher. Um, some pajaro. There we go. Also, um, something else in this game, which I know about, is that, uh, let's use show off, is that you uh, should always catch the low level them instead of a uh, high level, because it isn't dependent on reaching a certain level to evolve your Thames, but you need to like have certain Thames for at least a certain amount of levels. Okay, so. Um, it's a little hard to explain. Say now I get a 2i at level 10 and I catch another 2i at level 20. The 2i I catch caught at level 10. If it evolves in 10 levels, I'll have to level it up myself 10 levels and then it'll evolve at level 20. If I catch a 2i at level 20 and it needs 10 levels to evolve, I'll, prob I'll have it evolved at level 30 when, when I catch it on, at level 20. So it's not like dependent on reaching a certain level. It's dependent on reaching um, a number of levels leveled up as you own at them, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's all a really cool system to me. And that's also why I really like this game. Yo, welcome to the stream, uh, Justifix. How are you doing? Yeah, long later, long ago. It's been a while. That's true. I've been streaming um, in English lately, actually. Playing some Temtem today. How are you doing in chat? Just to fix. Okay. Um, we are just grinding a little bit since I absolutely got wrecked a few seconds ago by another trainer. Good, I'm with you. Uh, I'm doing fine. I have been writing the entire day because I have like something I need to write for school. I already have a story of about 45 pages. I'm really proud of it. I'm hoping to publish it as a, as a book. So yeah, I could speak English if you want. I prefer when people uh, send messages in English in, in chat, but I can't make you. I'm just going to say like it's preferable to me. So thank you for um, offering it. Uh, but yeah, I've been writing today. It's been great. Um, I'm glad that you're good too. Uh, ba -bum -ba -bum. Yes, there we go. Sharp leaf and tail strike. Uh, dun -dun. Also, I introduced channel points to my channel just to fix. So um, now you can mess with me if you want to. Besides that, um, boom, boom, boom. is there something? Oh yeah, there we go. Yes, indeed. Thanks for playing that sound. You can only play it once per stream, luckily. <laughs> um, my favorite uh, channel point reward at the moment is the one with like 500 rubies, where we can make a message be read aloud. And I can tell you it's the funniest voice ever. Or at least I think so. Uh, there we go. But yeah, I'm glad you found the button so quickly. Your other friend, what is he called again? Um, Pue had a little more trouble finding the uh, button. Oh, hello there! I'm playing Temtem. Um, it's a game about well, it's basically like a monster collecting game, but then like different. It's a Spanish game from Spain. Tomorrow I'll do a Minecraft stream. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll do a Minecraft stream, but I want to do a bit, little bit of everything, you know. I really enjoy the more tactical games too, and Minecraft is a little less tactical. Like, either I play a tactical game, I play an adventure game, or I play a creative game. It's, a little bit, it's kind of like that, but I get you guys. That's why I probably stream Minecraft every other day, but I want to throw in some other games too, 
you know, grow, grow an audience a little bit, have some fun myself. I can't play Minecraft all the time, it's really not my thing. But I do like to stream it every other day. Dun, dun, dun. But I'm, I'm glad you guys came to the stream. I really am. Also, let me just um, see. This is Carmen Chat. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I absolutely love Carmen. I, I probably will need to have to turn her up a little bit, but um, she's really nice. Uh, she might be a little expensive to run on stream though. You guys have, will have to give me feedback on that. Which can look, I, I think you can write up to 500 characters, so if you want to make, like, put two parts of a song in it, Carmen will sing it for you. Oh, I just noticed my Genki is only level 7 and my Piggy Pack is only level 5, so I'll probably have to grind quite a bit before I can take on those two trainers at the end. Uh, dun dun dun. Let's just race through these them. Oh, that does no damage. Also, what do you guys think about the backlights? I'm really proud of them. I think they look great. <laughs> okay, what is this? Uh, there is this weird system on um, Twitch in which you get a like star next to your name once you once you reach affiliate, you automatically subscri subscribe to your own channel. I think that's a little peculiar. Okay, I'm gonna quickly look, but I think I'm not gonna use Pig Epic in my, in my team because that just means I will have to train up another Temtem, and I already have. To Three air, no, two air types, wind types in my team. So let's just box away pick a pick. Uh, and you can see I already have some other temps too, because I want to, of course, complete the tem decks. <laughs> it's basically Pokemon. Um, but yeah, let's get all these to level 14 at least. And then we'll continue on the battle, onto the battlefield. And I do hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. <laughs> Um, so let's see. We'll just go into the grass and we got another battle on our hands. Great. Kaku. Uh, Tateru and Tateru. So let's just do this and this. And that should take it down and then we'll go on to the next. Uh, bum, bum. Also, oh shit. I think I forgot to fill my bother. Oh, oh, I've got a glass of water behind me, luckily. Well, that's the last water from that bottle. If I want some more water, I'll have to go grab it behind me from my glass of water. There we go. First that down, and then the second one soon after. So I just use sharp leaf and tail strike. Easy. Mm -hmm -hmm. I don't really know what commentary I could give over this because it's literally just grinding. But sometimes there are interesting battles, for sure, for certain. Right, right now it's just running back and forth. Ah, but really, I can't express how much I love this game because it has a robust battle system and I can collect cute little monsters. Okay, they are not as widely recognizable as, let's say, pocket monsters, but hear me out. They are fun designed and they are a little more unique in comparison to all those normie Pokemon. You see? All those people simping over that one game, over this one. Nah, this one is the, the good one. This is the good monster taming collecting genre game. Welcome, welcome to the stream, everybody. Um, we are just doing some grinding because I got wrecked by a trainer with an umuki and then a squid thing. A squid thing, what's it called again? It's like poison water. Uh, it's a white squid with some blue stuff on it. Can't remember the name. It ended on Biss, I think. I really don't know the temps in this game yet, but oh well. There we go. 
let's continue on our grinds. I uh, shouldn't have had it out of the grass. I'm just gonna vibe a little longer. I've also been working on like a border around my webcam. I think it's a little too few detailed and I don't know whether I like the red border. Besides that, um, whenever someone follows me, I have added a little cater, cater? Is that how I call it? A uh, pum pum pum, I can't remember how I call it, a like a window, yeah? And then the name will appear in it. It isn't fully finished yet, but I have implemented a prototype into the stream assets. To just say it like that. There we go, and that's some more tattoo down. Um, I really wish they didn't up the chance of finding a Luma to 1 in 10,000. Like, it will feel be great when we find Luma eventually, but the chances of getting one, a shiny Luma, are so low. Though that would be really hyped too. Like, maybe. Oh, wait, was that just a shiny uh, a Luma that passed by? Can't tell. Mm hmm. That's a crystal, yes. This little green thing. Okay, found another encounter. A scale, those are rare, but I already have one of those. Really, I don't know anything past the second town. I have done one playthrough, reset it, then done this playthrough and just played through the boring tutorial. That's it. I didn't want to reset my uh, progress a second time for on stream. That's why. Okay, there goes Kaku. Which one? Which of my other ten will I give experience to? Genki, you're the really low level. You definitely need the experience. There we go. Um, DC Beam and Tail Strike. Okay, there we go. And I'll give some experience to Genki. Let's go heal up our Thames at the Thames Center while we're at it. Can't wait to see the next uh, stage of my Monke. Because look at that Hitchar chick. The final evolution looks crazy. Also that fish. I think like that fish is the Eevee of this game. Also, do tell me if it bothers you guys that I keep comparing Temtem to Pokemon. It's just like, I'm used to playing Pokemon for so long. I like this game, but I don't know um, almost... I don't... I barely know anything about this game, that's what I'm trying to say. Then Okay. And we got another battle. There we go. Let's get Kaku up to level 14. Mm. Toxic spores and sand spell. I think it's best to first take out the skill because he also has this ability that's really annoying which basically just boosts his damage I think. And that, get, that gets really dangerous over time. Also, yes, that's that, that's also. I just realized what I was talking about. Um, so there is this like mechanic in uh, Scales moveset where each turn he'll get uh, access to more powerful attacks. And if you like wait the third or fourth turn, it gets a move which basically one shots any Temtem, or at least to my experience, to my knowledge. Knowledge. Let's use this and Tail Strike. There we go. Okay. But also, if, if there are any guys in chat who want to see me do a Minecraft stream, I implemented a Twitch Pawn, which makes um, rubies, my channel point system, um, get integrated into the game. And so basically, you can spend rubies to give me a chance cube, spawn a skeleton on me, or anything. If you want to save up rubies for that, I would highly recommend watching our streams too, so that you get rubies to spend during the Minecraft stream. If there are any people watching Minecraft right now in my chat, of course. Can't really see. I always turn off my viewers, so I might as well be streaming for zero people. So that, um, you know... When I'm streaming for zero viewers, I want to still be attractive for people. Um, and I don't want to know when I'm streaming for 10 people or when I'm streaming for zero people. That way I always stay my, myself. And sometimes I dare to look over, but it's really not a good habit. It's just best to stay myself all the time. 
But that's really my own opinion because there are definitely also ups to knowing your own viewer count. If you see there are like 10 people and you know you only have regularly 5 viewers, that means there are 5 people who don't regularly watch you probably, which you can maybe try to have a conversation with. It's all up and ups and downs. But yeah. <laughs> Is that a shiny um, angel thingy? I think so. The Temtem designs are really cool. Some are a little, little lame, but I haven't really seen any that I dislike necessarily. Just sometimes I'm neutral on them because they have their own style. I'm not entirely used to that yet. But yeah. Opinions. Who cares? If I was on Reddit right now, I would get downvoted to hell for my opinions. Okay, um, let's use this and then do this. Is there a stab? Them, them, stab. Let me quickly look it up. Um, basics of battle stab. Same. T um, stab. Uh, yes, there is same type type attack bonus. So basically, when a temtem uses a move of the same type as its own typing, it'll get a 50% damage boost, which is the same as the other game I keep on referencing. But that's a really balanced system, so that the typing of the temtem actually matters with it with its move set. So you could have like a tem temtem with, which is like for example water type, yes. But it has, it has a really strong fire move. That fire move won't be effective on a water tem as it will be on a fire tem tem. Because on the fire tem tem um, it will get a 50% boost still. Besides other boosts it gives to fire attacks. Because sometimes of course fire temps also have traits with, which boost their fire type moves and other shenanigans in this game. Such as um, I know what, what else exists. Um... What else exists in this game? What's it called again? I keep forgetting. Uh, synergy, yeah. So like for example, my Kaku has a move, a toxic type move, which gets boosted if there is another toxic type on the field. What was what I was trying to say. Anyway, so let's keep going. Um, toxic spores and martial strike. Really also streaming is just a gamble. You'll never know who sh will show up in your chat and if someone will show up. It's always fun to find out about people showing up. I uh, This is my first stream actually in um, the Temtem category. So I don't really know if there is even a community for people who come by streams on Temtem or if it's really just a, a group of elite streamers on, tem on Twitch when it comes to Temtem. Dem dem dem. I like it. It's a nice name. I'm gonna guess it's like from Tame Tame or something. Like I know the devs are Spanish, so what else could Dem Dem be from? Kinda sounds like a verb. Um there we go, let's take it down in one shot. And think that'll make my Kaku be level 14. Then we'll just train up our Genki, our little electric B type, in up until level 12, 13, something like that, and then we'll tr try to face the trainer again up the road. So I think that's a great plan. There you go. Oh, wind burst. Um, oh, yet again, I right clicked instead of left kicked, which I shouldn't have done. So I just go to my squad, Kaku. Um, nimble speed. I don't need speed really. It's, you're more more of a support type. So let's put the wind, wind burst on you. I don't know what's what what's a special attack. A special attack is oh, a special attack is twenty three. Speed is it's about the same. So both sets can use a boost. I prefer to have a little more of an aggressive um, tactic at the beginning of this game, of any ga of any monster ta 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 taming game, because the good support moves only come later on in the game. I feel like there we go. Then um, let's move over Genki and yeah, let's train Genki and Kaku together. I don't know, maybe two I. 
the birds. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. And let's ba head back into the cross. Um, there we go. Also, uh, just to fix if you're still in the stream, I'm sorry for not streaming Minecraft. I really wanted to do some other games too. And this really seemed like the ideal opportunity to play one of the games I really wanted to play. But really haven't yet. I haven't really find a time and a reason yet. Let's just one shot Tetru. Okay, let's two shot him. We like Feather, of course. Feather Gatling just gets gets him easy. Honestly, I think he might as well head and try once more against that big trainer up there. We just lost to. Maybe this time we'll be able to get him. Dun dun dun. So let's just quickly skip the cross. If a battle appears, that'll just have to do. <sighs> um, there we go. Actually, I might just try to turn this on. And we'll see how that looks on the webcam. Okay, just saw it turn on. Okay, and let's turn that off. And a little bit like this. There we go. Might be a little healthier for my eyes. I'll, have, I'll see the feedback on the cam soon. Alright, that seems pretty good to me. A team of Genki. Yes, those spawn, uh, those spawn appear higher up in the mountains. Um, I can't use either flying or um, air on them. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Okay, and there we go, and then pack. Okay, pack. Use pack. There we go. DCB. Oh yeah, I'm a flying type. I should be careful with that. Then he uses sparkles. Is that gonna be supportive to me? Okay, yeah, I got bonus special attack. That's great. Um, I think I can use actually a neutral. Yeah, electric is neutral against wind slash electric types. And let's use shrill voice that way. Okay, please. Oh, okay, that's... Okay, sweet. I know it's only 1 HP, but that's actually great. And now they should be one shot because it's a boosted shrill voice. Oh. That's a little less fortunate. Um, yes, but Peck has really awesome priority. So that's one. And then just hope the other one doesn't knock me out. There we go, okay. We barely survived, but we survived. That's all I need. I don't think we will be able to take on the next trainer, this one. So let's just skip through his dialogue for now. There we go. And let's have another battle. Okuma and Calabis. That was its name. I was gonna say Omnibus back a few minutes ago. But it's Calabis. Not Cannabis. Calabis. Um, pum pum pum. Okuma... Yes, you are the most dangerous one of both, I'd say. Okay, oh, it uses water con. Please use it on Genki, okay. And now let's, let's hope to I get to use its strongest move. There you go, Feather Gatling. Okay, half health, that's not too bad. And then Water Blades. Okay, two eyes knocked out, that's alright. Then let's get in Kaku and Smadzi. Um. Honestly, we need to get rid of Okumo, first of all, so let's just use our best move, best moves against Okuma. And then we'll slowly deal with um, Calabas. Please don't one-shot. Great. <laughs> Hi, Thomas. Thanks for uh, the yeet. I can't wait for the Valorant stream, to be honest. That's gonna be so fun. Uh, but thanks for ch checking by also. I really do appreciate that. Um, and let's now slowly deal with the Calabas. Yes, my boy! <laughs> oh, I always like it when people drop by. Turn, 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 and Martial Strike. There we go. Should be able to... Oh no, this is a beefy boy. Mm, toxic Skin. Okay, but luckily I have Mitridation, which disallows me from being... Is it... Imp it's not a Pokemon ripoff, hear me out. 
Um, basically, with Pokemon Sword and Shield and all that coming out, there was a lot of controversy about the game striving away from being a tactical game and more of being just like a cutesy babies game. And so this is like Pokemon. Yes, it's inspired on it, but it has its own monster designs and all that. It's from Spain. It's been, I think, two years in the making. It's actually quite fun. Oh, wait, I have only one Tem. Why did I continue through in the grass? That, that wasn't that smart of me. But yeah, no, it's really like Pokemon. Hey, welcome to the chat, puppy lover. Haven't seen you in a while, but I'm glad you're here. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I can see why people say it's a Pokemon ripoff, because it clearly looks like one. But like, the battles are way more fun, because there's way more tactic in it. Okay. Botanophobia. Oh, Genki, some Genki take more damage from uh, grass attacks, I guess. Thanks for, thanks for the host, uh, puppy lover. I do appreciate that. Okay, let's head back to the center without dying, hopefully. How are you doing? How are you? I'm great, thank you. I've been writing all day. Um, writing all day for a book I'm writing. Besides that, um, yeah, nothing too special. So it's not a rip-off, rip just a Pokemon-inspired game on PC with more frames per second. Exactly, and way better graphics. Also, it's coming to Switch, like, the end of this year. It's still in early access, like you can see up here. But um, I bought it during one of those actions where you could get access to early access. Like, anyone who wanted to play this game has this game already, because of the early accesses they did. But it isn't officially released yet. I really like it. How are you doing, puppy lover? Thanks for asking, by the way. I'm always glad for some um, interactions with chat. Also, to add on it, there also this game also has a way better post game and other mechanics. It's all way more polished. Okay, it might not be as big, grand scale as Pokemon, but like Pokemon is a million dollar, billion dollar corporation. Actually, this is like I think built on a budget of like two hundred thousand euros in Spain. It's a completely different situation. Uh, but I, yes, exactly. Okay, yeah. I'll be sent to the temp center and I'll probably lose some Pansen. Yeah, 107 Pansen. Pansen is really rare. There's a currency in this game is really rare, so it's really unfortunate I lost some. Uh, that kind of stings, but yeah. Oh, wait, why, why am I on the loading screen? That usually doesn't happen. I'm a little worried now. Music is gone. Welcome to the stream tilt. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you're here. How are you, how are you all doing? I'm just playing a, one of my favorite games. Even though it's maybe not the greatest game to stream because it isn't that big, but oh well. Just gonna try to have a good time. What are the spe spec requirements? High or low? Um, I'd say higher than Minecraft. But that's also because this game isn't quite as optimized yet. So there is a setting where you can like put the graphics on really low and it looks pixelated as hell. But like that way you can play it on almost any computer. Because that's also one of the main goals. But as you see, sometimes I still drop frames, unfortunately. So it's alright, but it's not ideal. Huh, what? Get ready to be beaten by both of us. Shut up and follow my lead. Um, I'll fight both of you. Exactly. Let's do this. I'm not going to turn on the low graphic settings right now, but they are available in this game and um, they allow this game to be basically run on any computer as long as, as it's not a brick. It won't run on a Nokia phone. Uh, Paharak or Loali? What's that price? Um, I bought it at 20 euros, but I think it's currently going for... 30 euros and it will eventually climb up to 45 euros as they go on uh, through the early access into release. Think, so the final price will probably be like a <laughs> bra. Yes, indeed. Thanks for the bra. It will eventually be 45 euros. But there's also a lot of mo more content to be added because this game is far from final. I think there are also some new. T they are aiming for like 151. Uh, What's it called again? 151 Thames. Uh, boom, this, and then Shrill Voice. There we go. I should have probably used DC, yeah. 
Redeem Johnny. Okay, I'll go get some water. Let me quickly just... There's my water. Um, I got a village three, three streams ago, like on Saturday, during a Rocket League stream. It was really hype. Thanks, um, Thomas. Eventually, I will start a Minecraft SMP for certain. Um, there we go. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with um, getting affiliate. That way, I can have some fun with channel points and you know. Also, the custom emojis I made are coming. They haven't yet arrived because Twitch needs to approve them, and as an affiliate, it takes about a week apparently. But once they they are here, it'll be so much fun. If you start, it is it gonna be Java or Bedrock. Um, probably on Java because most of my friends uh, friends play on Java um, with the Minecraft SMP. So yeah, I would I used to have an SMP on Bedrock, but yeah, Rip. I'm sorry, Tilt. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Let's just take this guy down. I can't use that move. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. But maybe eventually I'll do one on a Bedrock too. Either way, I think I'd only like really open the SMP for people I know on my Discord server for now. Um, yeah. But maybe eventually. I think we can reach just about next. Oh, mm. oh yeah, this is one of those. This really shows how cool this game can be graphics-wise. Although it can be better. The first island is actually quite bland compared to the second and third island. What's that blob? Hello. Good day, fellow trainer. I've seen you around these parts. First time on the trail. How are you like the Thessalian clips? They're lovely. I'm tired of them. Shut up and tem yeah, shut up and tem them up. Exactly. How straight to the point. Just kind of my kind of trainer. Tem them up. Tem them up is kind of like the I challenge you from this game. Ah, oh, so so pet. I love those little guys. There we go. A two eye and a Genki. Saipat. Oh, I really want a Saipat. Goose feet, yes, goose feet. That reminds me. Um, okay, I don't know if it's typing. Um, we will do more damage, I think. Definitely wind blade. So let's go with wind blade and feather gatling and just blast this little thing until it's dead. It does do quite a lot of, da a lot of damage. There we go. And let's hope we can take it down. Then some more wind blade and some shrill voice. How much damage does that do? I think it would be more worth it to use a wind blade. So it's gonna buff up apparently. Okay, its defense went down, but I think I'm using special moves, so that's not too useful for me. Oh, that's like one HP. Why? Okay, and I'll have to have you rest, otherwise you're gonna overexert yourself. Come on, dude. Don't make it harder than it has to be. Kaku. Kaku will be able to deal with it. I can't wait for Kaku to, to evolve. He has such a cute little evo evolution too. I'm sorry. Just be careful not to let my glass of water drop, so I'm gonna put it here. Remember, I think it was like the second stream I ever did. Maybe even the first one. I... Um, Pushed over my glass of water. Oh, that was some real panic right there. Oh, this guy here, this Ram Gilead, has the same skin I used to have when I started playing this game. I do prefer this skin though. And there we go, we arrived in Arizona. The Queen of the Headless Hill. Headless Hill, hmm, interesting. Okay, uh, if I remember correctly, this is the Tem center of this town. Yes, and now we should go and challenge the Temtem Dojo leader. Yes, not a gym leader, a dojo leader. There we go. Uh, what is this? Yes, so basically the first island is based around water and wind temps, and so each 
Island has its own team. Why can't I enter? Sorry, Tamer, but the dojo is closed. You can't come in. Why is it closed? The dojo master is not in. We're waiting for her to come back. Okay. Okay. Um, as a matter of fact, it, I think it's taking her longer than usual. I'm starting to worry. When will she be back? I have no idea, friend. She could be back already. Um, I'll go find her, Sof Sophia. Would you do that, fellow tr Tamer? Thank you. I feel much better if someone took care of this. Where can I find her again? Sophia is supposed to be surfing near Windward Fort. If you have a surfboard, it's easy to find. Just get in the water and... I don't have a board. Then it's a scenic route for you. Leave Arizona and go north. You'll have to go through gifted bridges. It's a long way, but there's no getting lost. Windward Fort is right at the end of it. Okay, so now I'm in territory of things I haven't seen yet in this game. So that's gonna be quite exciting. Let's go see... So they told me to go north. I'm gonna assume that's this way. Yeah, exactly. Gifted bridges. Kinda want to quickly just explore a little more of town. So this seems like a store. Okay, so here we can get clothes. That's cool. How much do they cost? Jesus. 25,000 25, pence is a lot. And then this, what does the cashier say? Okay, we, we just look around. Thank you. I'm gonna look. Yes, okay. It's quite cool, but it's also really expensive. I have no idea how I would be afford able to afford clothing. What's this place? It's a hotel, it seems like. Welcome to Arizona Palace. I'm afraid we're completely full. That's kind of pointless. Oh well. Hey, wait, actually. Yo! <laughs> Thomas has um, YouTube, um, Twitch Prime, I just noticed. I didn't know that. That's cool. I don't even have Twitch Prime. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so this seems like from the trailer, the bridge where you can get a flying airship. But you can't mount it yet. That's used for like going to the next island. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay, what's all this? Just a big island, a house, that seems like a regular house, I'm not heading in, and some more regular houses. At least the towns are decently uh, big, they feel like they could be actual towns. Also, okay, ooh, that bird looks really cool. That's probably one of uh, two wise evolutions. But let's go and get Sophia, and let's see where she is hanging out, because I want to get my dojo badge. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, first battle. Will we be able to succeed on this battle too? But fair, we're fresh from the Dojo 2 Sh challenge. We challenge you, stranger. Oh man. Let's have an orc Tem Tem duel. Fomu and Scale. Okay. Let's start by taking down Scale, of course. Um, I'll probably have to put my PC into the battery while this turn plays out. Is FOMU an air type? I think so. Let's see. DC beam. Yes, exactly. I used Feather Gatling literally on something that instantly dies. Let's put my computer in the charger. There we go. That way my PC won't die on me. Ganky. So let me turn down the brightness for myself a little bit. Um. Okay, let's use sparks on him, and then shrill voice, like that. So, okay, it's a little unfortunate shrill voice went first, but now we'll buff my 2i. There we go. Uh, then, some, and then they're gonna use some buff moves. Is that speed? Yes, that's speed. Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's make 2i just add a little more speedy and let's let 2i rest. Okay, hopefully 2i will just not get instantly. I wonder how smart the AI is in this game. Will they? No, okay. I was wondering whether they would just target 2i the entire time, but it doesn't seem like it so far. Let's use DC beam on scale and use shrill voice on both of them. I think that'll do actually. There we go, since it's boosted with speed and special attack. And then there should be only one Temtem left. How fun this game can be if you use, play it tactically. 
just took a sip of water just just because I needed it. Swally, um, it's a grass type, so let's use. No, I can't. You should rest, otherwise I'm gonna overexert you. There we go. That doesn't do too much damage, so that's all right. Um, Windblade and Peck. That should take that guy down. There we go. Easy peasy. Battle wasn't too hard. But it's only the first battle on the route too. And I already lost half of my health. So I'll have to go back to the temp center. Also, sometimes I really need to le uh, read the dialogue in this game. Because it can be quite funny. The writers actually care about what the characters say in this game. Even just a random NPC can give you useful information in this uh, here and it's not like that one guy uh, who tells you oh yeah you can go to this box to get um, your temtem out no it's actually like specific information on temtem you use or find in the route oh just entered this house on accident shouldn't didn't mean to do that also I'm really glad my internet connection only has like a 10 second delay that way I can get near instant interaction with viewers it's also something I really aimed for with this computer. What is this? A Pajaro. Yes, indeed. She's Ganki and 2 eye. Um, DC Beam on Pajaro and Peck on Pajaro. There we go. So Peck and then... There we go. Pajaro is down. I... Actually, I should probably definitely keep Ganki because this island is full with wind and water types and Ganki is really effective against those. Yes, let's have a battle. Dun, dun, dun. Saku and Uku Ukama. Yes, that's a water poison type and a, gr and a grass wind type, if I'm not mistaken. A nature wind type, that was it. It wasn't grass, it was nature. Um... It's electric, no, electric isn't twice as effective against you, neither is it against you. Okay, um, what can we do? I think this will be most effective. Let's take the, I don't know, let's start with Ukuma. We can, we know how dangerous Ukuma can be with its water cannon. There we go. Use and sharp, oh, that is against me. Botanophobia is really an annoying debuff. There goes Genki. Should probably still train train him up. Kind of forgot about that. Okay. Gaku, you can take down Okuma, and then I'll use Rest on Tuai, and afterwards we will take down Saku. There we go. Okay, so Nature is twice as effective against Poison or against Water. One of both. Learning a bit, a little bit of the type chart here. Okay, that's Saku. Just got to use sharp leaves. And can I use Feather Gatling? Yes, okay. So that Saku should go down this round. It didn't. Saku res... Oh, okay. So Saku resists nature and wind. What else do we have here? We can use Toxic Spores and we can use a neutral type attack. This should be a little better, okay. Saku is really beefy, really bulky I should say, beefy is something else. <laughs> okay, but I'm still standing. I was about to start singing, but I don't think I want to do that to your, you guys' ears. Okay, oh, okay there goes 2 eye. And now we should use Sharp Leaf and... Mm, okay, the poison took it down luckily, that's good. That was a close call battle. And only 94 pence and you get barely anything for defeating. Ooh, the, stream, the water stream looks quite nice. I'm telling you, the further we'll get into this game, the nicer the terrain looks, the more effort they put into it. So Kiyoshi look really nice too. <laughs> Kinda sounds like the name of that one avatar from uh, The Legend of Aang or... The Lost Airbender or The Legend of Korra. One of both of those. Damn, I finished The Legend of Korra this weekend. It was such a fun series. 
I personally still prefer the original The Lost Airbender, but Koga was good in its own way. Just felt a little awkward to watch. That's what, that's all I'm gonna say. Of course, no spoilers. Okay, someone sleeping right here. Why not? Can I click on you? Really? You can't yet interact with people, uh, sadly. It's advertised as an MMO, but um, it's not quite there yet. But it soon will be, probably. The MMO features are planned a little later into development, I have seen. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see, two Pajado. Okay, those I can easily take with my Genki and 2 Y. Um, so I just use DCB on Pajado and then pack on this Pajado. Pack, there you go. And DC Beam. Okay, should probably use both moves on one Temtem because now they are going to do a little more damage. Unless they both use a status move. I just heard someone laugh. I hope that's in game but because that really scared me. That was someone near me. Oof, big oof. That's why I'm never gonna play a uh, horror game on stream or ever really. Um, I can't even deal a uh, children's game like Temtem. It's already too scary for me. Oh well. Uh, pum pum pum. Let's head downstream. Ooh, hello, hello, miss. Hello, miss. Miss. Okay. Uh, bridges. Oh, okay. It's some lore. I'm not interested in the lore of this game. It's just a fun monster game for me. I we. Ooh, that's a cute little fox you got there. Um, let's continue on. Hey there, welcome. Look at this temtem I just got. I bet you can't beat me if you use one. I'll beat you. Let's see if you can walk. <laughs> can walk the walk. I, I, I almost thought he was gonna say, let's see if you can still walk after this one. And then he would just make a joke about, um... Yeah, I can't say that on stream, I just realized. <laughs> okay, that's a wind type clear, so my Genki will do great. Oh, it's also some other typing. Maybe. Let's, let's start off just with these two moves. Ice cubes. Oh, is it part ice type? If ice type is in this game even? Could be. There we go. Either way, we took down the whip, whip lump. It's a weird name. Can I actually change my own Temtem's names? I wonder. Squat. Ganky. Mm, doesn't seem like it. Oh well. I really want to give um, my Temtem some cooler names su suggested by viewers eventually when I catch another one. I think there's this owl guy that will appear later on on the route. That's a cool Temp to have. Don't know if I'll actually use it but... Use this and this and we should be fine. Um, there we go and then use wind blades. Yes, sweet. That wasn't too hard. Um, yes, exactly. And then let's just keep on going. There's another NPC here. Yes, hello. Hi, I'm not in the mood for a chat, but I could use a fight. Let's rumble. Indeed, let's rumble. Uh, dun, dun, dun. I wonder if you guys can actually hear the audio, the game audio on stream. Oh, that's a little small squid there. Quickly look on my phone. No important messages. I, may, I might just create a little loop on accident. But... Okay, let's see. But yes, okay. You guys can hear the audio on stream. That's good. Kaladzu or Puki? Puki is definitely a water type, so I should be able to deal with you. And Kaladzu can take a feather gatling. There we go. Then feather gatling. There we go. Are we gonna take down Kaladzu? Not yet. Okay, fin beat and another fin beat. Water blades. Ah, we lost the Genki. That's a little unfortunate because Genki is kind of like the base of my entire strategy. Um, let's use Sharp Leaf against Puki because I don't think nature is effective against poison. And then Peck against Kaladzu which has priority and I think Kaladzu is just a little more dangerous compared to P Puki. This little derpy thing. Uh, I really want a Puki plush now. 
That seems awesome. Ooh, two eyes level 16 now. Big Epic, get ready. Uh, Big Epic seems like, like the ideal plush Temtem too. Um, let's not be too strat 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 strategical. Strategic. I just want to get through this battle, really. Okay. Oh my god, this guy. And now he's gonna evade my next two attacks. So might as well just rest up. There we go. Use a scratch. Let's both get get some rest and then we'll attack him the next turn. There we go. And the big epic is down. Okay, sweet. Level Ooh wait, that's an evolution screen I think. There we go. Now it's gonna turn into what's it called again? Saku Yes Sweet Close this Come on stop interrupting my gaming session I got some notifications from my anti antivirus Saku was trying to hack me I'm telling you guys Okay let's put Saku in, in front together with Smadzy some, There we go Ah monkey Actually I want to Saku to follow me There you go let's go with Saku not brightness back again. I don't know why, my, but my computer keeps on turning up the brightness. Don't need that. That's bad for my eyes. Oh, do you guys see this little Saku here in the corner? Oh, wait, that's right behind my wet webcam, actually. It's a great time for some Temtem sparring. Let's. Let's. Yes. <laughs> Saipat and Paharak. Saku and Smazzy, yes. That's a nice name, Smazzy. Boom, boom, boom. Saipat is a pure melee. So I'm just gonna look at what's more effective. I think I'm gonna go with Windburst against Saipat and Show Off. Just to get that little buff going. Ooh, that does quite a lot of damage. I don't quite like the audio effect on show off. It's got like a little bit of a crisp, um, crispy sound, like cornflakes, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm comparing sounds in video games to cornflakes, although I guess that does make sense because you got to get the sounds from somewhere. But if someone actually tells me they used cornflakes as a sound in Temtem, I'm gonna laugh so much. There goes Mazi. Okay, Martial Strike. Sack would take some damage. Sharp Leaf. Oh, I thought that I selected Cypath. Okay, to why? Burp. You can do it, Burp. To why? Let's come and just use these two. No, 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 no. That was dumb. I used a very ineffective move against. Uh, and so, such an expensive move. Feather Gatling is really expensive. The, Okay, at least it does some damage, but that really wasn't a smart play. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so much. Okay, um, let's use Sharp Leaf on that guy and Shrill Voice on both of them. Either way, this round I think they'll be taken down. Oh yeah, for sure if they damage their, themselves by overexertion. Why does Saipet have like 1 HP left? Either way, there we go. Okay, so nature is super effective against Saipat. Should probably look up what typing Saipat is. Can I see that in the Temtem decks actually? Tem -tem Tempedia. Where is Saipat? Saipat. It's a something typing. Probably. Oh, fuck. Frick. I almost turned off my computer. There's this button right next to escape, which literally p puts my computer to sleep. It's like the scariest button ever, but I still haven't turned it off. Have you, I've seen you talk to Giovanni too. Of course you fool right by my side. Shut up and... Okay, so they literally just took the bad guy from... <laughs> okay, G Giovanni is the bad guy apparently. Um, low Ali and Low Ali. There we go. Saku and Tuai. I should probably get back and heal my Temtem. 
because the, I'm on my last two again, but I really don't want to. <laughs> I'm being a little bit of a stubborn person, to say the least. Oh, Urshifoil? Okay, that does... Oh wait, but that's good to know, because these two are also um, nature typing, so I can also use Urshifoil on, the, on them. Yeah, let's do that, and then Shrill Voice. There we go. That does quite a lot of damage, and then Urshi foil. There we go. So I probably used it on the other guy because this one was already poisoned. That's all right. Mm, I'm definitely heading back up after this battle to heal my Temtem because I will probably only have two Y left. Mm, this is quite a scary game sometimes. It's high risk, high rewards, maybe. Mm, I wouldn't call it that. When burst, yes, that way I'm certain it'll be taken down. Yes, there goes Saku. Okay, it's a 1v2 now. Well, 1v3, but like Loali is dead. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay, soon 2i will actually be level 17. Two, three birds on a field, what will they do? I will use Shrill Voice. There you go. Oh, I damaged myself a little bit due to overexertion. That's not too great. So now I'll be forced to rest while they keep chipping away. Yeah, okay, I'm dead. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I lost some more. Um, I probably lost some more. What's it called again? Yes, 176 Benson. It's really annoying. Let's train up my um, Genki a little more because it really needs some training. Ah, the Temtem on the starting screen are quite nice too. <sighs> there we go. Mm. If there is anybody who actually likes Pokemon right now in the stream, um, on Thursday I'll do a Pokemon stream. That was what I wanted to say. So yeah. There you go. Oh, the Kyoshi is still there. The Kyo Kyosh? Kyosh? Kwesh? God, I don't know how I am supposed to pronounce that. Dun, dun, dun. I, uh, okay, there we go. You found another trainer. Not trainer, wild battle. Dun, dun, dun. Ay, pajaro. Sweet. Okay, um, DC beam and sharp leaf. There we go, it's dead. There's no way that he'll survive these two attacks. Easy. Uh, there we go, and let's just claim the experience, and let's keep going. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Then another Paharo, sweet Ganki and Saku. Okay, let's use DC Beam and Sharp Leaf, sweet. Uh, and sharp leaf. There we go. Took, out, took down another Pajaro. Let's get Genki leveled up. That's gonna be nice. And let's stretch a little bit because sitting still in a chair isn't always my thing. <sighs> Anybody got any opinions on Wonder Vision? I what I finished the sixth F episode yesterday, and damn, is it good! Can't wait for more Marvel series now. Okay, I get it, I get it. I might be a little bit of a Marvel weep guy. But really, it's it's good content. There we go. Bahago it down. Let's take that one blade. That's that's not too matter. Uh, but I get very few experience points from those Pajaros, sadly. Even though this, this isn't even that effective, it'll well take it down easily. There we go. They barely give any experience, so that's gonna take quite a while if I'm gonna grind on these. Let's try it a little longer, but I fear it won't work. Uh, what's this? Tupahado. Yes. Ganki and Saku. Yes. Um, DC Beam on Pajaro and um, Sharp Leaves on the other Pajaro. There we go. Okay, one shot. So level sevens are one shot. It seems like. 
Then let's use Sara Pli Ooh! And Star, okay, no damage taken. That's great. Also, an upside to uh, the stam stamina system is that you won't have to. Um, like, as long as you don't lose health, your stamina will come back after each level, meaning you can keep grinding instead of having to go to the center after having used the move multiple times. Dun dun dun. Um, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, what's this? Pajaro. Yes, a Pajaro found me. Let's quickly see. Okay, I've got some WhatsApp messages and stuff. Didn't quite work out the same way I thought it would. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Nothing too special. That's alright. Dun, dun, dun. I don't really know how to make uh, the stream more interesting besides me talking, having some channel, channel points and playing Temtem. Really, that's streaming, what streaming is all about, right? Or am I missing something? Don't really know. Oh well. Maybe one day I'll just get lucky. The nether, the nether was endless. Nether just was have Sorry for Dutch. Don't worry. So basically, what he said was like he can't find the nether castle, and so he won't play some Minecraft anymore. Boy, do I have a story for you. So I was playing my fourth Minecraft um, hardcore world on stream. So my fourth life my hardcore world, and I made a nether portal. Yes. Then I spawned literally my portal inside a nether fortress. I was like, okay, we can deal with this. It's a little rare getting a nether portal right into a nether fortress. Um, but yeah, then I saw a wither skeleton. I was like, okay, I know I'm on hardcore, but I kind of want to try to take down that wither skeleton. It got me down to half health. So I run back to my portal, hoping to get home and not die and lose my hardcore world. And guess what? There was lava right on the other side of the portal. So I just go stand in the portal and just barely touch the lava and burn to death. And that's how I lost my fourth Minecraft Hardcore World. It's just really unfortunate. So I mean, yeah, sorry. It's unfortunate you didn't find another castle. But at least you didn't die literally spawning in another castle. <laughs> so um, yeah, yesterday I, t I started my fifth attempt. But after a half an hour of streaming in that world, I was like... Okay, got to take a breather from for from Minecraft Hardcore because that wasn't too great. I'm thinking of making a new Nether portal for a better spawn. Um, I don't quite know how Minecraft works, um, but maybe you have to go a little farther because, like the Minecraft, the Nether world is linked to the Overworld. But maybe you just want to go further or something. Don't don't quite get what you're trying to do. But yeah. Um, boom, boom, boom. DC beam on you. Sharp leaf on you. Um, but yeah, do explain what you're trying to say with the Nether portal thing on um, my Minecraft. Even though we're playing Temtem, I don't mind. You can talk about whatever. Just like having fun. I'm playing a game, but that doesn't mean we have to talk about this game for for certain. If the only thing you could talk about is the game while you're playing a game, that would just be boring. Then nobody would watch Twitch. It's about having some unique conversations in the end. But now I'm starting to ramble, which actually is the thing that makes me decent at streaming on Twitch. What would be my biggest downfall? I wonder. Can't really think of my biggest downfall on Twitch. Um, I guess not having that much connections with other streamers, that's a little unfortunate because I can't really do networking if I don't stream with other streamers. Um, I have tried to do networking, but the other streamers I have talked to really didn't feel like doing a collab, even if you could find it well in DMs. Um, and yeah, Lucy wanted to stream, but Lucy, her computer isn't strong enough. And Yorino, aka Joren, he doesn't really stream either, I don't think. So yeah, there we go. Um, Genki is level 13. So I think, let's just head back to the center, quickly heal up our Thames and then we'll go for another round to battle. Okay. 
Ooh, a Pajaro instead of a Paharak. No, a Paharak is the big one. That's cool. Um, DC Beam and Sharp Leaves, and that will take him down. Ka. Ooh! Kamad Kamadari. Yes. Never seen that ability before. Mm, Kama. Does sound interesting as an ability. Okay, let's just DC beam on you and wind burst. No, I. I should never use a wind type attack against a wind type Temtem. That just simply doesn't work. Not so smart. Oh well. Okay, um, DC beam against Paharo and Sharp Leaves. That way, I think I'll take it down easily. Yes, sweet. Great. Uh, there's still a lot of grinding to do. I want to get Ganki to level 14. Um, but I, also, this isn't a Minecraft hardcore world. I can just do some grinding off stream eventually, too. So that's quite great. Can actually do some grinding while <laughs> being in class. <laughs> My teachers wouldn't recommend it, but um, that's beside the point. Oh, okay. That sound, that's the sound in game. I thought someone was clapping in real life. What are all these people doing here? Are those bots? I don't know. Some of them moved, so maybe not. Maybe it's like a popular place to go AFK. Or no box sorting. Like people, maybe has a reason to be in the boxes uh, for a long, a long time. Ooh, oh my god, that's the evolution of Genki. Ooh, and that scorpion looks quite nasty. So cool. Oh, on the last patch. Okay, what is it? It is Paharo. Okay. Tun tun tun. Let's see. Paharo, yes. Let's just take you down. Sharply. That, that should be enough. Exactly. There we go. Come on, let me escape. I just wish this game was a little bit snappier and a little more quick, a little quicker for battles. But on the other hand, it's already quite snappy. It isn't too bad. I don't want to turn off animations because the animations aren't too extended and feels very responsive too. There we go. So this was the battle we last lost on. Maybe this time we will be able to do it. Let's just spam through the dialogue. Can I? Yes, okay, I can just skip the dialogue. That's great. Another thing this game has. Loali and Loali. Let's see. If I remember correctly, they are nature wind types. So let's use DC beam against one of them and toxic spores against the other. There we go. Mm, oh yeah, and I could probably use Urishal too. Are Loali actually flying types? Can't tell. Kinda want to look it up, but that feels like cheating in this game. So I just need to catch one for myself. There you go. And I wait, that Loali is gone. Yeah, okay. So they are part nature because they take twice as much damage from poison. Or toxic, it's called in this game. <laughs> Um, another 2i. Another burp. Burp, burp, burp. Yes, there we go. And let's just take down the burp. Almost. Urishal against Loali. Okay, and that Loali will be down soon too. Oh, they're both so low. That's really annoying, the fact they aren't dead yet. Let's do that, and let's do that, and then we'll be on to the last, which is also a 2i. My, my voice is actually kind of, kind of dry, a little too dry. It isn't 100% pure water, there is some mint in it, and I can actually feel it on my voice. You know, like, mint tastes good, but also makes the water a little sugary. And that isn't too great if you're talking the entire time, like what what I would do when I'm streaming. But I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Why would you guys ever worry about me? You know. Um, but there we go. This time we did win from these guys. So, so um, oh, pff, controls. I've I've got like the tiniest arrow key arrow keys ever on this keyboard. It's kind of annoying to control. Two cents. 
Eau de Pas de Thème. Sweet lavender notes with a warm black peppercorn heart. For some reason, Tem Tem don't like... Oh, okay. So that's like uh, a repel to keep away the Tem Tem. Okay. Do I need to make a choice here? No, I do not. Boom, boom, boom. Th those are some cliffs with probably some rarer gems. Hello, miss. Okay, no battle. There we go. Um, oh, some more grass, really? This is okay. This is this is actually a quite long section. Who builds fences like this? Like this is typical game design. Oh, another pushed one. Are you with the that herber? woman? No, I'm not. Oh, thank goodness. These tourists are getting ruder and ruder by the day. Say, let's have a temp -tem fight. Yes, let's go. Let's let off some steam. Plate on steam. Saipat, the melee guy. I can use toxic on you, I think. So I'll just go with Urishal. Um, DC beam and Urishal. There we go. That should just take, just right about take down the Saipat, I think. Yes, okay, almost. It's level 16. <gasps> mm, Genki! No, poor Genki. Okay, let's bring out Smazzy. There we go. Monkey. Monkey. Monkey use monkey power. Um, and Sand Splatter. Oh, it does no damage. Luckily, Orishal shoots. No, it doesn't. Um, yo, sorry that I wasn't. At the beginning of your stream, I didn't know you were streaming. Don't worry, Jens. I'm glad you're here now. Welcome to the stream. Um, I can't force you to join the stream, of course. Also, if you look next to your name, um, I've seen you every stream like the past week, so I give you v VIP. Um, I hope you appreciate that. Uppercuts. Melee Temtem are all about raw strength. This technique is its sincerest expression. Um, oh, that's actually a nice move to use teach that. So yeah, welcome to the stream, Jens. I'm always happy when you're here because it's, I really like the support you give me. I really need to fix the notification um, on um, my Discord server so people get notified. Oh yeah, no problem for the VIP badge. I just thought it was fun because it's basic. It's a basic Twitch function and honestly you, you kind of deserve it for being so active. Uh, what's this? Crystal and a Barmshi. I think you're a mental fighting type. Um, I think I'm gonna do this and this. That should work. Uppercut. Okay. Yeah. Crystal doesn't like fighting of or melee. Original. Okay. Barely. There. Okay. That's all right. And Pajaro. That's a. Oh, that's a little burp. Yes, we love burp. Um, let's try a wind burst against Barnshi and um, honestly, I have more than enough stamina to use another uppercut against this Pajaro and just take it down. There you go. And then our only problem will be this Barnshi. There you go. Mm, this guy is strong. Okay, we probably have to go back to the them house before we die now because I only have two I and a basically dead sack we left uh, what are we gonna do we're gonna use Tertial and Feather Gatling okay if this doesn't kill Barn she is insane okay yeah it's part fly a uh, wind probably keep forgetting this is the wind island Narcoleptic hit, a potent, a potent attack that exhausts the attacker's psyche, making it fall asleep for two turns. I feel like putting one asleep is more effective than using toxic spores, so I'm just gonna do that. There we go. Wait, you're Temtem the Ralsai, you're not one of them? I didn't quite read what she had said earlier, so I don't know. Okay, there is a healing station I now see. Can we get there? Or will there be too many battles? I think I sh should probably get back quickly. Because, oh, to tonic. Although many herb arborians use it as a mixer, it is actually a ki kiwi. Oh, those are probably the islands. So, arborian is this island, and or is it ki is, is this Kisiwa? I have no idea. Let's see. Um, map. 
So this is... What's this island called? It doesn't tell me. Oh well. Not to matter. Um, let's head back so we can heal our Thames. Because I really don't want them to dead. I want. I don't want them to do that. <laughs> My English is very good. As you can hear. Okay, there are, got, there are guys up here. Probably means there, ex there is actually a rare or useful tem up there. Dun, dun, dun. Um, let's head back. Oh, was that my cot? I keep on hearing games um, hear, um, game sounds that sound like things I would hear in my living room. I am playing Temtem, which is a monster collecting game. Somewhat similar to uh, Pokemon, but way better, honestly. Um, you should definitely look it up, Jens. It's an absolute blast to play, since it's more of a t tactical game too. It maybe isn't the best streamer game I've noticed, but I really do enjoy playing it. So yeah. Temtem it is. Oh, welcome in the chat, Curtis. Oh, I think that's my sister. Just heard some noise from the room next to me. Welcome to the chat, Curtis. I'm glad you're here. Um, he also has the VIP badge. <laughs> Hope... There, nothing bad happened with my sister, but she usually gets mad at me if I go check on her, so I'm just gonna leave me myself wondering what the loud noise was. There we go. Let's just heal up my Thames quickly. Sweet. Um, let's put Smazi in the second spot. And let's go on... Here, there we go. Pum, 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 pum. And let's go on. Maybe you can this time make it to the next healing spot on the gifted bridges. Um, hopefully, okay, not an end cutter. We can train our Genki a little more. Tun tun, a pajado. That's cute. Genki and Smazi go. Okay, so we're gonna use a DC beam on you and a little uppercut because it doesn't matter how strong the attack is that I use When I knock it out, I get my stamina back so I can literally just punch out the strongest attacks if there is a single Tem Tem There we go, and let's go on. I wonder if they are gonna impl implement any more MMO like um, elements into this game like maybe some raid like feature where multiple people t train up to, to defeat one special legendary Temtem and then get a chance at catching it or something. Or maybe like Temtem that aren't catchable but like boss type Temtem. They are like really big or really special. Um, yeah, that would be cool. Make it more like an MMO. But for now it seems like a fun game. I'm having fun at least. Let's see, yes. Yes, okay, Genki's level 14. I really want Genki to evolve, that would be so cool. It's not yet. I'm not looking anything up while doing this playthrough. I want to be to let it be as vanilla as possible. Don't have too much spoils. This is gonna be... Tutateru. The CEO of uh, Temtem, as I heard. Um, DC beam and uppercut on the other one. Could uppercuts one shot? That's the question. But because it's insanely powerful. Okay, it can't. But it got close. What would be stronger? DC beam or. Okay, so Windblade is slightly stronger, so that should be able to take out that Tataru. And then on this Tataru, we'll use another uppercut because that's my strongest move on Smazi. Okay, he's back in the red. But he should be defeated. Yes, okay. And then now we'll just take care of this last sliver of that rue health. Sweet. Um, DC beam and tail strike. One of both should take him out. There we go. Thanks for the experience, my dude. Yes. Sweet. Dun dun dun. Um, ooh, that's a cool dragon. So, so sadly, it just disappeared. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, is there actually something back here? 
it doesn't seem like it on the map so let's not go into too much grass so we can get to the next healing station as quickly as possible Kaku, ye, those guys are cute okay Smalzy and Genki mm, think DC no okay wind blades okay wind blades is neutral then we'll just use some wind blading can we one shot them with uppercut my strongest move barely okay i should probably try to focus one kaku at a time next time so i don't take as much damage because that way one of them will already be defeated and i can't take damage twice okay but now after this turn they be will be eradicated again is it eradicated is the right term or should i say terminated either way they'll be gone Dun, dun, dun. And let's keep going. Do, 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 do. Right on. Um, is there anything in Oh yeah, here's another item. I missed last time. Balm. What? Okay, I already discovered balm, but I can't remember what it does. Backpack. Yes, okay. Balm. The traditional omnesium healing salve made of jungle roots um, restores 70 HP. No, that is, not that it's my business, but I still ask why are you streaming so late in the evening. It's not late for me. I can stream until midnight if I wanted to. Also, thank, thank you so much for the follow, Josh, uh, Josh O'Connor98. Are you a fan of uh, Terminator, perhaps? It's 8.30 p.m. That's not too late. For me, it's 9.30 p.m. I'm from Belgium. But na yeah, no, that's not too late. I just know... Um, What's he called again? Jens is a little younger. Uh, 170037. Like, that's probably why he asks. But yeah, no, I can't stream. I can stream until midnight. Um, I'm gonna guess you're from Britain then, Josh O'Connor. Also, I love uh, Terminator the movies, so I think that's a reference. Your name is a reference to that. <laughs> yeah. Boom boom. Ooh, big shark. Yeah, I'm in the UK. I could have guessed it. Time zones and stuff. Okay, let's use um, DC beam on Piranians. Let's get big rid of this big shark. It will probably wreck me. But thanks for the follow, my dude. It always puts a smile on my face when someone follows. Because that means I probably entertained, entertained somebody. Hmm. Okay, Genki will just barely survive, luckily. And ooh, Kaku! I love his little cute cheeks. Mm, so cute. Um, this, yeah, I know it's late, but normally, normally I go to sleep around this time. Oh, okay. Then why are you not asleep, Jens? Be because it's vacation? Could be. I don't know. Either way, I'm glad to have you on stream. But yeah, I do plan on streaming a little later this week, and this is. Some we're most likely gonna be more of the usual hour I'm gonna stream because yeah welcome to the stream Rose welcome back <laughs> okay there we go my two temps out yeah this is but this is a little bit, bit more of a handy hour for me to stream at let's use original on this guy I'm currently luma hunting a 5% and Carter so you're my entertainment well I'm glad I, I am but um, wait, do you, are you using a radar or are you hunting it 1 in 10,000? Because I can tell you 1 in 10,000 hunting is near impossible <laughs> on a Temtem. Like that's crazy. Um, Feather Gatling, I'm gonna buy this game. Oh Rose, Rose, Rose. If you're, def uh, if you're buying this game, we should definitely ba battle eventually. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, boom, 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 Orishal. Yeah, I'm using a radar, but it's still full odds at the moment. Haven't hit 200 yet. Dude, I don't know how anybody could Luma hunt in this game. It's crazy. Like, it seems so hard to me. So, big props, for real. Okay, there we go. We did the battle. Can't wait to play against Rose, if she she's actually gonna buy this game. I would say I want to uh, battle you, Connor. Josh, or Connor. I don't know which one of both I should use. But, um... Yeah, my Temtem are probably way lower level. 
I've never battled anybody in this game so far. I, if ever I agree to battle, I'd get destroyed. I mean, you could try to battle me, but because my Temtem are level 18, <laughs> I would probably get destroyed, but oh well. Another traveler, safe travels, my friend, and welcome to the best spot in Gifted Bridges. Nice tall grass, close to the Temporium, and when your Temtems need to be patched up, you can even drink, take a swim and cool off. The only thing I was missing was some action, and then you came along. Let's make it a perfect day. Um, how much does it cost? Currently it costs 25 euros, but it is still in early access, meaning the game isn't fully released. When the game will be fully released, it will be 40 euros. So if you, this game looks interesting to you, I definitely re recommend buying it right now. I know that's a little bit of a sales pitch, but um, it, I'm actually, it's actually um, right now that you should buy this game. I mean, I could train some Temtems to level 18 real quick and if you're wanting to battle, but I can't do that right now or at Raid Raider. I'm definitely gonna stream Temtem some more some other day, so let's just um, battle some other day then. Um, Josh, just don't break the radar, that would be bad. Alright? So don't worry about me. Um, we'll, we'll have a battle eventually. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't use wind moves against someone who's effect super uh, resistant to wind moves. Okay, we'll be fine. So yeah, uh, Curtis, if you want to play this game because it's absolutely great and I'm sure your PC will be able to run it, I'm definitely re uh, recommending it to, to buy it right now. And if you've got any questions, do send me in chat or later on on Discord. And I can't wait to actually battle some viewers. But let's keep it balanced and not get any... Um, Level 50s against level 18s. Level 18s? Is that correct? Yes, that's English. Okay, let's heal my items. There we go. Yes, okay, and let's head back to train my Genki level. Actually, I kind of want to look... Oh, that's a trainer. Okay, we're doing this battle now. Gabriel the Gay. You shall not pass. <laughs> I think that's a reference, but I don't know why he's gay. Uh... Oh, grey. I didn't just read that. Okay then. <laughs> Oops. I want all streamers to hold little tournaments um, where they are, there aren't super tryhard PvP players, players so I can practice. I am far from a tryhard in this game. Like, I just started, that's pretty clear. But yeah, that would be fun. Some, a little, some little battles against viewers. Once I get further into this game, I'm still on the first island, so right now that isn't ideal. Why was I overexerted? I'm a little confused by that. Um, let's use Akuma. I hate that water cannon. Once I get a, an Ukama myself, I'm gonna have a, re a really fun time using um, water cannon too. Okay, uh, please don't kill Genki. Okay, Genki, you can use DCB among Ukama and then uppercut against Calabas. Yeah, I really want to do some PvP against other players. I used to do uh, be into competitive Pokemon, actually. I know that's like a weird brag, maybe, but that was really fun. I used to actually do competitions. I never won anything because I got unlucky. Uh, this, the reward system at the tournaments I went to was kind of random and you had a higher chance of winning something if you're first or second or third but you weren't guaranteed to win something and that's that was kind of unfortunate because that way I never won it anything by chance but I really liked to play um, competitive Pokemon and so I might get into a little bit of competitive um, Temtem I only really battled my friends on Pokemon but they look took it hella serious so I had to google a lot of help yeah but I'm looking way more forward to getting uh, into this game competitively because it's way more balanced also. And besides that also, pum, 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 what was I gonna say? I don't know, this game is still new, there isn't that big of a meta yet. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it evolves. There are still new, new temps being added and all that jazz. Oh, I, can't, I really wish I could go on, to, on the water because I want to go get myself an Ukama. They seem so cool. 
Let's just do some grinding in this patch of grass. I really need to get all my temtems up to level 16, I feel like. Ooh, peek a peek! Oh, let me quickly look. That that, that could be a risk. Um, okay, I have 83 temp cards. That's for when I perhaps find a Luma, I, so I can catch it. Um, we're easily taking down this peek a peek. There we go. Okay, almost. Uppercut, wabush! Sweet. Yes, and then some experience. That's great. Um, and let's just run back and forth again. What's Luma? So Lumas are the shinies of this game. And they have a chance of appearing in 1 in 10,000. There is an item though called a radar which allows you to hunt um, Lumas. But it's still like a chance of 1 in 5,000 or something. So they're extremely rare. Uh, like nowhere cl near, nearly as close as shinies in Pokemon. But they also look way better because they are especially designed to look amazing. <laughs> and I really want one. But they are like there's... It used to be 1 in 6,000, yes, but when Raiders came out, they changed it to 1 in 10,000, exactly. Oh, wait, no, should probably click him and you show off. Um, but yeah, how, how do Raiders work? Do you know J Josh, or could you explain us? Because, like, uh, I can't remember. I know it's, like, it's gradually going up and then there's a max, but, um, yeah. Besides that, um, Lumas are great, they really are. Uh, boom, boom, boom. They look amazing. I really want a Luma scale, weirdly enough. I think they look nice. Um, a little question to Curtis. Why is your orange? A little question to Curtis. Why is your orange? I'm guessing he is asking why Curtis' favorite color is orange, because I know it is. And um, I don't know the answer, so maybe if Cortez is still in chat, he could answer. So yeah. Um, and otherwise, ask it on the Discord, Jens. Uh, Cortez is there also. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Uppercut, there we go. Bam, bam. Raider has 400 counters. 1 through 200 is full odds. 2 200 to 3000 is 1 in 2000. And 300 to 400 is 1 in, in 1000. Oh, okay, so Raiders are, are actually quite useful then. Thanks for the explanation. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Josh O'Connor. Ah, you have such a great name, actually. Positive and it's so bright. Yeah, that's true. Orange is a really positive and bright color. But have you seen red? The color of love, the color of war, the color, color of det determination. Let me just actually... Um, can I... There we go. We're going with a red background. We are supporting our favorite color today. Um, dun dun dun, and let's take down this pick a pick. <laughs> but you can't get three ra three raiders. You can only get three raiders a week, so you have to have a competitive rematch with the dodos dojos to win them. Oh, so it's quite balanced then. <laughs> also, I'm sorry, Rose. Um, most of us can see colors. Uh, for reference, the color behind me is red. I don't. I, I really don't understand color blindness. I know it's a real thing. I just don't understand it. And radars in Temtem seem really cool, to be honest. Like actually, properly cool. Um, yeah, it's also a little balance. That way, people grind over a certain limit. Wait, Cur Curtis, are you color blind? Blind too? <gasps> Duck! I found duck. A oh, witch color blindness. Maybe Curtis knows some stuff about that. <gasps> duck. I found duck. Please catch duck. Please catch duck. I want duck. <gasps> Alright guys. Give, give me names for duck. We need to give duck name. Amphibian. When attacked with a water technique, gets special uh, extra speech. Water melee. Ducky. <laughs> okay, rename. Ducky. Some other names, please. 
Bum, bum, bum. Let me just um, turn this off. One and then turn on the red light. Ducky. I really like Ducky. It's a female um, Daisy Duck from Disney. Daisy Duck. Okay, let's go for Daisy Duck. <laughs> okay, let's um, let's get a poll up. New poll. Um, name me Ducky. Daisy Duck or Donald Duck. There we go. Let's. Um, why is it not? Working, there we go. Voila, you guys get one minute to vote. Start poll. Okay. Will it be either Daisy Duck or Donald Duck? I really like Ducky, it's a female. Donald Duck, I don't know what type I have because it runs in my family, so we just expect it. <laughs> Got it. Uh, Ukia, accept it. Gotcha. Um. Yeah, color blindness. One interesting uh, thing to talk about. Let's see. Daisy Duck is currently ahead with two votes. You can, you guys can also use your channel points, the rubies at the bottom of the screen, to give get your own. Na na <laughs> I'm not naming this duck after myself. Okay, four votes for Daisy Duck. One, five votes for Daisy Duck. We're getting closer. Is there somebody gonna swoop in for Donald Duck? Okay. How will it end? I'm not voting. I'm just gonna look at what you guys vote. It it looks like it's gonna be Daisy Duck, unless someone swoops in with channel points. All right, it's seven to one. Clearly, oh, <laughs> Josh O'Connor contributed two hundred channel points. All right, Daisy Duck, it is. Daisy Duck, accept. Welcome to the team, Daisy. Duck, am I writing this correctly? There we go. Um, send to squad. We got Daisy Duck on the team. <laughs> That's cool. Um, pum, pum, pum. I might actually leave Saku behind. Like, I leave him in the last slot and I won't focus too much on him. I'm just gonna train Daisy Duck and Genki. Ah, look at the little, bo little girl. Little girl, I should say. Look at the way he runs, like, wow, speed! <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, da let's go, Daisy Duck. His little arms. Whee! Oh, That's cute. That's really cute. Thanks, guys, for the name. Okay, pick a pick. Daisy Duck and Ganky. <laughs> wack wack. Okay, what do you have? Should have probably looked at that beforehand. <gasps> Water moves. Okay, water blade, and let's use DC beam. Uh, ah, my, pa my pants are a little too tight. Is there an XP share? There is not. There is no EXP share. But since all battles are two v twos, it's really easily to uh, easy to train one temtem. Oh, there is. Oh, there is not yet. Then there will be soon. I I am guessing. There is not yet. I should have said. Uh, Daisy Duck, Martial Strike, Water Blade, ooh, okay, Rage. The Red Mist at makes Temtem brutal, but also, okay, up, the, up attack minus defense. Okay, interesting, and Amphibian, when attacked with a water technique, get speed. Okay, Daisy Duck is gonna be fun. It's called Cowards Cloak. It works like Gen 1 EXP share. You'll find it in the fort of the first island after you get surfboard. Okay. I know. Ooh, another duck. We already have our daisy duck. But thanks for the information, jo jo Josh. If that's what I should call you. Um, Saipat. Um, what? No? Okay. That's not very effective. Let's just tear him down then. Um, okay. Okay, an electric. Yes. There we go. That will work. And then stare him down. There you go, Daisy. I really wish I could rename my Thames because I want to give them some chat, chat, chat suggested names. Martial Strike or Rage? Martial Strike. And DC Beam. Beam! There we go. 
<laughs> they make literal duck noises in this game, the side pet. It's like too cute to handle. There will be a renamer in the next update with a new island. Oh, okay, thanks for the information. I really want to name uh, my older Temtem. But that's on the third island, so that's gonna be quite a while from now. But I guess that's alright. When we get there, we're renaming all the Temtem. For certain. Alright. I love Daisy Duck Warrior. <laughs> Just imagine like Daisy Duck from Donald Duck. But then like warrior style. In, li in like armor. It's kind of funny. It's funny in my head. It's really, I, li I also just live in my head, basically. Okay, um, bam, um, oh wait, what? Okay. I, bamboozle is such an annoying move. I, I imagine. <laughs> imagine, nous sommes les Français, oui, oui, banana, spaghetti. I want to buy it, but I spend all my money on things I don't need. I have to go to sleep. Uh, good night, Jens. <laughs> Rose, why did you buy um, cat ears? I mean, it's cute. I also want cat ears. But I'm not getting them. Because I know I can spend my money elsewhere. <laughs> this is actually quite funny. Um, you should definitely show me the cat ears. I'm interested now. So I guess I see you tomorrow if you stream. I'll st I am streaming daily, even if I stream only an hour. So I'll see you tomorrow, Jens. Bum, bum, bum. Big epic, yeah. Cause I'm a cat boy. Oh, you I don't know much about cat boy culture, but um, cool. Kind of like Finster, that one streamer, right? Or am I missing something? They haven't arrived yet. Ah, oh, sad. You'll have to show me a, f a picture eventually then. Actually, can I... How do I do this? I know the audio is, has cut for a second, but... Okay, no, I can't. Was... Ba... Uh, bay? <laughs> I'm not Beyonce. I'm sorry. Dun dun dun. Let's just use Marshall Strike on that guy. Bye. Um, I really want to see the carriers. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of funny. Let's see, ah, my statistics are decent currently, that's fun. Water blade and DC beam. We're just having a fun little chat, oh what is this? Oh my mom just turned off her computer. I don't know why I get that notification but I do. So I can see when, when, when my mom stops working. Which makes sense, it's now 10, 10 in the... Should I be uh, sharing this information on stream? The fact I can see when my mother ends her work time. <laughs> it's maybe not the best thing to be talking about on the stream. But who will it really hurt anyone? It might. Uh, nobody yet has used Car Car Carmen. Wait, let me just... Um, why do people not hire me? That sounds absolutely awful, but I love um, Karen. Carmen. I should stop showing off my um, channel rewards. Like, it is the dumbest du award ever, and it's way too expensive. I should probably turn the price the way down. Okay. Uh, but I think it's funny. I should also probably make uh, Carmen a little louder on stream. Because right now she's barely hearable. Um, if I don't forget that... Actually, let's write that down. I'm just gonna write down... Fix... Carmen. My favorite Russian lady. Besides... Okay, no. I can't say that. <laughs> Uh, I see Puppy Lover has gone to bed. Oh well. Dun, dun, dun. Um, am I missing something? I don't know. 
I'm just gonna keep on streaming until I don't feel like it anymore. So thank you guys for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the stream. And I'm just gonna keep on grinding a little bit. Maybe, just maybe, we'll we'll find a uh, Luma. What are you doing right now? I'm training my Temtem. So basically, in order to get experience in this game, you need to defeat Wild Temtem, which you can find in the grass. So yeah, and it's quite a slow process, but I at least want to get my Saipat to level 13 or something. Would you accept a Temtem egg from viewers? I definitely would, honestly, because I think that would be quite cool. If I get some so sort of overpowered Temtem, I wouldn't use it, but otherwise, yeah, that seems fun. Now we could give it a name together. <laughs> but so yeah, I would if someone gave me one. But I'm of course not forcing anyone to do so. It, j it could just be a fun little thing. Okay, pick a pick. Uh, Daisy Duck and Genki, let's go. Um, Water Blades and DC Beam. Now most of the Temtems are balanced in this game. Not many overpowered ones really. No, I don't... Um, I don't think there are any overpowered ones, it's just kind of like, um, maybe I'm in a section in the game which has like one Temtem who could co completely wreck that part of the island, like half an island, then that would be overpowered. Like for example, I think it's Hichachik, like Hichachik is a really great starter if you look at its power, Hichachik, can't pronounce their names. But yeah. I would accept one. <laughs> um, pick a pick. You are dead. I remember, like it was around New Year, um, the the Temtem team showed statistics of like most skilled Temtem and such in the wild. It was kind of fun. I think it was like two million or something Temtem had been slaughtered. Maybe it was even billion. Yeah, it was probably billion. Like people are grinding on this game. It's also interesting they get those statistics in. Okay, um, are you farming for a specific Temtem here? I see there's a chat. Who are thou talking to? I said talking, right? Why is it censored? Talking. Okay, apparently this game censors the word talking. I don't know why. Maybe it's some something offensive in another language, like Spanish, for example. Pig a pig! Daisy Duck and Genki, let's go! <laughs> Daisy Duck. Uh, use spaces. What do you mean by spaces, Curtis? Um, I don't quite get what you're trying to say. Use spaces. I mean, I like space. <laughs> but I don't really get what you're trying to say, I'm sorry. There you go. Oh, I really... The, the fainted curse one uh, thingy is really annoying. And I, Use spaces. Did I say... Oh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna cheat the, sis the chat system in-game, of course. I don't want to get myself banned. Uh, but I get what you mean. Instead of talking, you're talking. Yes, exactly. I could do that, but I don't think that's the greatest idea. Um, because they probably banned that word with a reason. Though, thanks for the advice. <laughs> um, I've, he I've heard some stories of ge people getting banned for the s stupidest reasons in this game. And I really don't want to lose it. So, yeah. Not taking that risk. You can ride on Temtem in this game? Okay, that's cool. I need to get myself one I can ride on them. Okay, Genki and Daisy Duck. Oh my god. I want a cool Temtem to ride on. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I really wish the backlights with the colors were slightly more visible, but... Like, even if I turn them on, they're barely visible. I can try again. Let me just see if I can hit it. Also, not that quickly activatable. 
Wait, I need to turn them on first. Yes, there we go, and then... Okay, we're back on the rainbow roads. But thanks for the advice, Curtis. Okay, we're gonna continue our enjoy... Oh, no, I'm not gonna use Nibble, I'm gonna use DC Beam. We just wanna keep on grinding for a bit until Daisy Duck is level 13 and Genki probably 16. Chain Lightning. This miracle of electric manipulation bounces three times clockwise for as long as it deals damage. Dealing decreasing damage with each hit. That sounds in interesting. I'm gonna change it out for Spark. Okay. I don't wanna see what that does. I think it's gonna be like a. Um, is it a. Hmm. So. You, okay. So basically, if I now use it on the Pig Epic, it will also hit my two Thames. Is that right? So click. Chain Lightning. Okay. It's gonna hit you. That's a really cool mechanic. Like, extremely cool. <laughs> but I did just commit suicide <laughs> on accident. <laughs> Maybe not ideal. Oh, and if there's then a Temtem I can pair this with, which um, absorbs the lightning damage. This is a really cool move to have. Uh, Geister Hunter hasn't responded yet in chat, sadly. I can't forget to um, not stream too long either because I still have a cat that needs to get into the house. Yeah, I really like this light. <laughs> you, ca you cannot really see my face though. Wait, what if I do this? Let's see, is it slightly better? Um, maybe if I turn it more like that. Um, it's still somewhat visible. We'll just go with that. DC beam and bam uh, bamboozle. That's a really annoying move just to play against, honestly. Okay. Uh, pum pum pum. Let's use uh, martial thingy against you. Oh no, wait! I've got a better idea. Martial strike against you, and then DC chain lightning against pick a pick, and then I'll just. Oh, it has evasion. That's right. Oh, but th that go 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 goes through evasion, I guess. Okay, not bad. And it knocked itself out due to over extortion. It's a cool move. I'm not gonna use it while grinding though, because I'm literally just um, defeating myself, while I could just do regular moves. But that's all right. Hey, another duck. Let's go, Daisy Duck. Kill your kind. And Daisy Beam. There we go. Let's take down your kind. Oh, that's pretty much that. Okay. There we go. We got rid of Daisy Duck. And so now let's just both attack Pig a Pig and then we will be able to defeat it. So now the evasion wears off and now Martial Strike should be able to... Yes, indeed, I was right. Hit it. Oh, the, the rhyme, oh wait, no. Go back. What about this? And this. It reminds me of the one song where it's like, Hit it! And then to do, the song begins. <laughs> Actually, there's a lot of songs. It's one by Phineas, if anybody knows that singer. He makes great music. Absolutely great music. Well... That's my opinion, at least. And I'm entitled to have my own opinion. There we go. So, let's continue. Ah, the run Cypad has is so cute. If only Cypad had a cute little evolution. <laughs> ah, I see him running. So sweet. Okay, there we go. More pig a pig. Daisy Duck and Ganky, let's go. Um, water blade against pig a pig and chain. Right, let's go to back. Water blade against the second one. Water blade against the second one, and then chain lightning against the first one. Yes. If you do this, first one knocked out. Second one almost knocked out. A little bit of damage to Genki, and we did it. Hmm. I mean, that's so I could quickly grind. I get 
quick defeats, but I will have to heal everyone so often. Let's just let's just do a little more grinding, uh, and then we'll go do some more trainer battles. But I just simply don't feel like dying today. Saipat, hello there, hello there, little dudes. I am here to defeat you. Um, you are a female. Um, pum pum pum. Yes, this and then some DC beaming. I don't know why, but my ear feels weird. <laughs> so, yet again, something useful to share on stream. My ear feels weird. Okay, water blades. Hmm. Is it just me, or do ineffective moves seem to do even less damage in this game? Either way. Ooh, barely and right wait, wait there we go we took it down I wanted to be a little fancy with the moves there we go dun, dun, dun. I should probably also um, give Rose a VIP badge in chat because he is also always in chat I still haven't given it to him there we go heal them up um, and let's continue on down the road What's this stuff? Okay. Look at that wind war fort. Who knows how old this thing is? I'm here not to fight, not to talk. I'm here to fight. Voila. Paharak and Paharak, two birds. Genki will be. Oh wait, I've got an idea actually. So um, let's just use water blade against the second one, and then chain lightning against the first one. And that should be easily dealt with. Okay, what does Chira do? Mm, I have no ID. Okay, Ch Chain Lightning. Okay, that's some nice damage. I'm a loyal viewer, what can I say? <laughs> exactly, you definitely deserve um, a little VIP badge. It does nothing special, but it's quite cool. So yeah, I can only give out 10, so 10 of my friends can get it. And I already gave out like 4. I just quickly gave those to them because a, either they asked or I just thought like, oh yeah, they should probably get it. Uh, I didn't see you instantly in the list, sadly, but I'm, you're definitely getting it. I'm really talking myself into a hole. There's no reason you shouldn't ha have gotten it. That's a water flying, I think. That's why it got one shot. Venomous Klaus. When the, l when the look of your Klaus doesn't prevent the fight, the poison finishes it. Ooh. Um, stair. Definitely replacing stair with that move. I can't believe I made that mistake. Well, my dudes, um, you won't believe some other things too. Okay, so now we're go going to head into a dungeon. I have no idea what lies ahead, so I'm quickly gonna heal yet again. Ah, there is another evolution of Ganki. One false Morty. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Don't know why my ear is feeling weird. Like it kind of feels like it got frozen or something. Like you know when you go outside and you get back inside, and, like your ear feels all icy. That's currently what I'm feeling. Um, let's just grab this. Is this gonna be kind of like a uh, Zubat cave, but then with like the the Zubat of this game? Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything up there, and then this. Okay, so maybe it's the other way downwards. Bits and pieces of silicon in high demand in Sipanku can be sold at good price. Okay, that's how we're gonna make money, I guess. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a Zubat cave. But what will be the Zubat of this? Scales. Interesting. Interesting. Um, Venomous Claws. Mm, there we go. And then Daisy Beam. Z zoom, and then the Venomous Claws, Kaboom, okay, it didn't get toxic. When the look of your claws doesn't prevent the fight, the poison finishes it. Probably, that's probably some ra random blabber, just doesn't mean anything. Okay, so now it has a toxic move, that's some great coverage, so I'm still gonna keep it, of course. There we go, there's another scale down. Use martial strike, please. Um, yeah, that all seems fine. Dun, dun, dun. Um, 
send him his claws and DC beam and then you'll be taken down too. There you go. Sweet. And let's grab that experience. I feel like you get way more experience. Bruh, indeed. Um, I don't know what the bra moment is, but <laughs> thanks. Um, I feel like you get way more experience from trainers. I'm glad you're still here, Thomas. Thanks for the view. Thanks for being a viewer. Is that cringe to say? I can't tell. I really can't. Uh, dun -dun. Let's just one, two shot this guy. Should be able to two shot it. Mm, okay. Drowny. Yes, I'm gonna drink some water. Thanks. I'm barely out of water actually. Hmm. So if anybody actually drowns me again, I'm gonna be out of water. It's like the last water left. Um, what what's the quickest move? Dun, dun, dun. DC beam. Okay, there we go. Shoot. Nah. No Brahma went. Okay. That's alright too. Thanks for the water, Rose. Uh, pum, pum, pum. Okay. Mm. Ah, we got attacked. <laughs> Is that James Charles? Bo5. Why do, why do you have that emoji? <laughs> Emoji. It's kind of funny, but why would you have an emoji of James Charles like that? Really don't get it. Ooh, this is a one a slightly more bulky one. Okay, luckily it didn't do too much at all. Um the ward and animal are so cute. Scale? Are you talking about scale Curtis? Also, um Thomas? You have absolutely cursed emojis, and I don't know why. Bow cloud three, bow cloud four. Yeah, oh yeah. The entire world and animal of Temtem is just cuteness overload. <laughs> I didn't work the way you wanted it to. Uh, so cursed, absolutely cursed. Is it visible on chat there, his emojis? Yes, they are. I hate you for it. I really do, Thomas. What even is that? It looks so bad. I, I could probably uh, put my own face in it. Pepe! Bo Pepe. I guess you're prime subbed to Bo then. I have no idea who Bo is, but... T table here and flip this. It's, a R it's an R6 streamer. Bolo. I have no... Oh, a Rainbow Six um, streamer. Yes, gotcha. Oh, yeah, that did no damage. Might be actually in some trouble. Yeah, okay, that does... That hits like a truck. And he has amphibian. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap you out for Smazzy. And I'm gonna swap you out for uh, Saku. No, we gotcha. So that's who your prime sub to then. An, an R6 streamer. Ganky retreat. There we go. And then afterwards, Crystal will do an attack. I, I never had um, prime. I really wish I did. Are you playing with an online? Are you playing with an online player? Um, I am currently playing single player. If that's your question, Curtis. Um, but it's a really, f you can actually play this game with, um, in co-op, like with one other player. Yep, because I get an in-game reward if you sub to him. My mom was crime, so I, stuck her I took her account. Smart. What, what in-game reward did you get, actually? That seems quite sweet. I didn't know you could actually get in-game rewards from um, subscribing to someone. Might actually... Does he pay for it, or... Because... Then a gun charm, it's dope as fuck. Okay, nice. That sounds like a little ding, j jingly thing for your gun, I think. That's cool. This guy in chat, in the game chat, still hasn't responded to me. Don't think he ever will. Balo is basically one of the most skilled players, so 
Oh, so it's kind of like Ninja of Rainbow Six Siege then, I guess. Maybe that's not the greatest uh, comparison. I'm sorry if I offended someone. He's a flex, okay. Congrats on the flex then. We are heading downstairs. Okay, what are these guys? They have got you. Belsuto Scout. Hey, who's that one? You, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Ah, you don't ask questions. We do. Stand aside or else. Bring it on, my man. Okay, let's dance. Oh, I'm glad you're still in the chat, Tilt. Are you gonna do a raid after? Um, yeah, I think so. I could do a raid. Do you have any channel suggestions? Um, tilt. Also, let's um, do this. I could do a raid, but I don't really know how who to raid. So any suggestions are welcome. Um, this might as well be somewhat my last battle, actually. And afterwards, we'll do a fun little raid. Just a little more battling. If anybody else knows a small little streamer we could raid, that would be fun. I don't know why Daisy Duck got overexerted, but oh well. Um, bus nos. Okay, I'm gonna look that in up in a second. Pum pum pum. Let me just quickly deal off this battle and. Um, okay, we'll, we'll we'll see. Okay, I'll be right with you guys. Um, what is he streaming? Tilt. Um, what is he streaming tilt? Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Then Apex Legends. Honestly, I'm not that big into that game. Um, maybe some other category? I don't know. Pum pum pum. Maybe um, he plays Rock. R I don't. I don't know what RL2 means. I'm, I have never played Apex Legends, to be honest. Uh, Paharak. Oh, Rocket League. Okay. I do I do also play Rocket League, that's true. Um, I was gonna say, do you know any Minecraft streamers, perhaps? But, um... Yeah, no, let's... Okay. I'm quickly just gonna um, end off this battle. Okay, we have t defeated this Belsoto clan. I think that this is the evil team of this game. So let's just uh, quit the game. Yes, that way it'll um, save. Okay, I'm going to quickly look that guy up. Let's let's enjoy the stream first before we think about writing something else. Um, I was about to um, end of the stream actually because it's actually getting quite late. So I want to thank you guys so much for wa watch uh, watching. Um, I think we're gonna, I'm gonna quickly look at both those channels and then we're gonna pick one out of those two to grade. Twitch, it's actually quite late here, I know you are from Britain, um, Josh, but for me I'm actually quite tired, so let's see. Okay, and the other streamer, who is he? Flooded Alfaka. Yes, I'm also looking for some streamers more my age sometimes. That way I can. Um, let me. Flooded all Haka. Okay. Um, is he streaming right now? Don't see him. Bye, Joe. Um, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I still haven't even my eat, even eaten my dinner yet. Oh, a late eater. Bye, bye, Rose. Flooded. Uh, oh fuck. Okay, let's get. Let's this time raid bus. Uh, bus lost letters. This. Um, let's hit the raid button. Let's copy paste this. Okay, let's go raid this Apex Legend streamer. I hope you guys join in. I know I am joining in the raids. So um, let's go. I am gonna end the stream here. Hopefully you join me on for the raid.